The Italian anti-fascist army comes north to the point of encircling Rome. Germany comes to help by passing through Austria and occupying the north. Hitler ends up getting killed, bringing the Reich in a civil war. Belarus and Austria join Himmler's side, who is currently occupying the Benelux regions. When Berlin is taken, the Reich comes with the new totalitarian regime. The new SS army rapidly advances in France, while Spain occupies the rest of the falling country. Germany pushes allied Spain south. After the disaster, a new civil war breaks out in Spain between Francoist Democrats, Carlists and Catalonian anarchists. A new Nazi-occupied Polish, Belarusian, Ukrainian provinces are created in the east while Germany annexes the rest of Poland. In the Balkans, Yugoslavian partisans create a union with Romania to defend against the Axis forces. The German super-industrial power pushes the Italian anti-fascist army back south, re-establishing the Italian fascist government of Mussolini. The German army pushes again the Caucasus and arrives to Stalingrad. France is divided in various occupation zones. The United States occupies Spain to save the country and bring it back to the Allied side. The SS army is taken to the east in which massive advances are made to the point that Russia collapses and the country gets occupied by Germany. The new Nazi provinces of Ukraine, Belarus, Russia, the Baltics and Finland are created in Western Russia. The United Kingdom gets re-established as an independent puppet state. Turkey declares war to Persia in order to dominate the Middle East. The Ottoman Empire gets established at the end the country occupies northwestern Persia. The Americans land in the Moroccan and Algerian coast of Italy and Africa as free friends. In the Balkans, Austria, Yugoslav Romanian Union and the Ottomans establish a pact to liberate the Balkans from the Axis. The Ottomans establish Greece and Bulgaria gets occupied. Greece pushes the Italians back in Albania while Axis forces in Bulgaria get defeated. Portugal leaves the Axis and occupies fascist Galicia. The weak German government fails to rule and next France and decides to establish a French puppet state while the regions of Brittany and Corsica take over and gain independence. The Spanish democratic government falls and Franco Spain takes over. The German Reich loses more provinces but maintains their rule over France. Polish resistance forces the Reich to create a Polish independent puppet. The Ottomans and Persia sign a truce. Immediately after, Armenia and Azerbaijan get attacked by the Persian army, which occupies both capital cities and capitulates the countries. German power in the Nordics and France finishes after a light broadcasting hijacks German radio station disorganizing the German occupiers. The Francoist government falls under the American rule. Italy invades the Ottoman Empire from Egypt to occupy Palestine and secure Africa. Then the Savoyan Republic attacks France, occupying Nice. North Macedonia breaks apart from Yugoslavia and occupies part of Greek Macedonia to gain access to the sea. The Yugoslav Romanian occupied territories of Bulgaria get annexed while the rest of the country becomes independent. Germany takes Switzerland from the Republic of Savoy and annexes it. Hungary revolts against the Yugoslav Union and gains independence while annexing Slovakia to Hungary. The Ottomans attack Persia to occupy Transcaucasia. The Empire annexes Azerbaijan and establishes Armenia as a puppet. The German army, being unable to control Russian key points in Siberia and Central Asia, leaves the occupied areas and new puppet states are created alongside the revolted states. Armenia attacks the Ottoman Empire to unite the Armenians and get access to the Black Sea. The Ottomans issue an armistice for peace. Meanwhile, Ireland becomes independent. The new fascist Italy reunites and becomes more powerful than before. An Italian division crosses the Russian state and occupies the Russian Archangel state. Greece kicks out the Italians from the Balkans and the Albanian state is created. Cyprus gets split in half by Britain in the south and the Ottomans in the north of the island. Italy occupies the Balearic Islands for control over the Mediterranean Sea. A private Croatian army group begins to take over in Bosnia and occupy the regions of Yugoslavia to create the Great Croatian Fascist State, breaking apart from Romania. When Poland begins occupying its puppet neighbors, Germany responds by sending a small division against Poland, which doesn't turn very effective. The incompetent German government is unable to stop them. Lithuania unites with Poland in the Grand Duchy of Lithuania and establishes the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth. 
the Italian anti-fascist republics of Florence and Venice to break apart from the fascist government. Cyprus breaks apart from Britain and occupies the Ottoman part of the island, establishing the Republic of Cyprus on the whole island. Fascist Russia attacks Finland in the winter war to secure St. Petersburg. The operation partially succeeds and an armistice is made in which Russia gains Karelia and Finland shuts up. The Caucasus unites and invades Persia to assert dominance. Germany splits once again with many provinces getting tired of the central government and breaking apart from Germany. Russia becomes the Black League and proclaims the Great Trial under Dmitry Yazov. The German central government falls in a civil war between democrats, fascists, monarchists and communists. The fascists turn falls and the monarchists take control over the north. Polish rebels occupy the Polish corridor. Poland makes a surprise attack against the weak Russian entity and gains the lands of western Ukraine and the majority of Belarus. Meanwhile, the monarchists defeat the communists and recover its regions. The German Reich attacks Italy and occupies its northern part. The United States defeat the Spanish movements and occupy northern France, liberating the country. The Great Trial under Dmitry Yazov invades Poland and annexes its eastern regions, recovering more Russian territory. Germany occupies Finland to avoid it falling in Dmitry Yazov's hands, but the brave Field Marshal Karl Gustav Emil Mannerheim sets up a resistance in the east and northern Finland. A Nazi coup in France makes the government turn fascist. America establishes the Iberian Union under the United States occupation. Many regions break apart from the Union though. The Axis officially dissolves and Germany makes an alliance pact with Poland. The Great Trial under Dmitry Yazov dissolves and the Soviet Union gets re-established. A French fascist coup in Switzerland takes over turning the country fascist. Georgia breaks apart from the Union and forms its own democratic government. Communist supporters win the elections and the Ottomans turn communist. Bulgaria reunites and Romania comes back. Germany becomes Nazi once again. The Ottomans push the Italians back to occupy the Hejaz region. Persia exploits the Arab revolts in Ottoman territory to attack the Empire and recover its western regions. Meanwhile, a communist coup in Italy takes over the country. Following the event, the African colonies declare independence. In Russia, another civil war breaks out in which the Tsar takes power once again. Sweden establishes the Sweden-Norway Union and invades East Prussia. Corsican nationalists take over against the Italian occupation. The fascist Croatian state falls and Yugoslavia comes back as a communist state. Georgia joins again the Caucasus Union for protection against Russia. The German Nazi government falls and the new German state is proclaimed. The Benelux break free from the authoritarian government. Sweden attacks the German territory in Finland to liberate the country. Alsace-Lorraine becomes an American pillow state to protect France from Germany. Communist Italy lands on Ottoman territory to occupy the European part of Istanbul as they suspect that the Ottoman government could be paying spies to steal secret information. Germany and Italy invade fascist Switzerland to secure Central Europe. The Ottomans push the Persians back, almost reaching the capital Tehran. Norwegian anti-Union rebels rise up to end the Sweden Norway Union. They successfully take over Oslo, but then some Canadian divisions come to occupy the country to avoid it falling to the German side or even become fascist. The Ottoman Empire blames Saudi Arabia to be funding the Arab rebels, so they invade the country. Poland makes a surprise attack against the weak Russian entity and gains the lands of western Ukraine and the majority of Belarus. Italy invades Germany to help the Allies in weakening the German government. Czech revolts in the Sudetenland makes Germany risk to lose the region. The Iberian Union occupies the Balearic Islands, then they occupy Sardinia and Sicily. Algeria rises up against the French and achieves independence with Tunisia. Russia makes a pact with the Ottomans to restore their lands in the Caucasus. The invasion results in the successful partition of the region and the restoration of each individual land. Macedonian nationalists rise to create the Socialist Republic of Macedonia. The Russians occupy the fascists occupy the region of Archangel to unite Russia. Crimea declares independence. Spain continues its colonial expansion by invading Tunisia. Russia begins funding the Kurds to revolt against the Ottoman Empire, creating Kurdistan. 
Portugal and Spain split apart on their own republics. Portugal then invades Galicia and occupies Morocco. Azerbaijan rises up against the Ottomans. Being unsatisfied by the central government, Croatia declares independence and occupies uh, Istria on their own. Luxembourgers rise up against three superpowers in order to create the Great Luxembourg. The Ottomans annex Saudi Arabia. Germany annexes Austria, putting Italy at risk of invasion. Bavarians rise up but are quickly dismantled, making the Munich region the only one to resist. The Ottomans kick the Italians out of Istanbul. Spain helps the Allies by occupying southwestern France. The communist government in Italy falls and the new republic is proclaimed. The communist Ottoman Empire collapses and the previous regions become autonomous once again. The Phalanges rise up in Spain again and the country falls in another civil war. Spanish troops stationed in France come back to fight the fascists. The Republic of Spain slowly advances and defeats the fascists until the last defense is defeated in La Caridad. Nazi Germany comes back. Azerbaijan and Iran stand up against the occupiers to take control over their regions once again. Romania gains provinces in the east from Poland with the Fear Vienna Award. The Allies start to occupy the German mainland. Finland joins the Allies after Sweden leaves the nation. Mexican divisions land in the Netherlands and occupy the Benelux. Yugoslavia occupies Italian Istria which has a Slavic majority. Poland takes the whole region of Belarus, completing its territory. Romania attacks Hungary to liberate the region of Slovenia. Spain and Portugal create the new Iberian Federation. Austria breaks apart from Germany. The Allies advance in Germany. The weak Russian government gets deposed and the new Russian Empire rises. Turkey changes its name and flag to Turan. Hungary gets these borders back and I don't know how to justify this event. Romania and Yugoslavia form the Balkan Union to compete with the other superpowers. The Vascami operation in Central Asia results in a success and the regions break apart from Russia. The Ukrainian National Republic breaks apart from Poland. Poland becomes the United Slavic Front. Persia reunites its territories and attacks Kurdistan. The Italian Republic re-establishes the Roman Republic. Bulgaria obtains Northern Dobruja from Romania. Finland becomes the first People's Northern Socialist Democratic Empire of United Swami. The Allies advance in Germany and occupy the Rhineland. Azerbaijan obtains full independence by signing a treaty with Iran, which makes Azerbaijan a satellite state. Romania forms a neutrality policy and breaks apart from Yugoslavia. The French Republic reunites and occupies the Benelux region. With the continued change of the Spanish government, an anarchist state is established to maintain order in the country. The United Kingdom and France establish the Franco-British Union to become the world's superpower once again. The Allies offer Denmark to join the war against Germany in exchange for Norway. Poland breaks in a civil war between the Polish, the Lithuanians and the Russian supporters. The Russian Empire falls again in the Soviet coup. The German Reich falls into a Marxist revolution. Savoy forms the Alpine military commandment. With this comment nothing happens. I just wanted to point it out since it's incredible these are four statements and I can't use any one of them. Turkey attacks Kurdistan and Syria. Romania occupies southern Ukraine. The Austrian Empire reforms to stand up against the superpowers. The Benelux gain independence. In eastern Finland, the terrorist group anti reich Society rises. The French government gets taken over by the Commune. Rome becomes an empire and occupies the Alpine military commandment and Tunisia. Turkey attacks Roman Tunisia and occupies it. The USSR falls apart and is replaced by the Russian Federation. America advances in Germany. Azerbaijan establishes an Armenian puppet. The French Commune strikes in Belgium, causing the country to become communist. Romania joins the Roman Empire and unites. Bulgaria occupies Macedonia, rising tensions at their peak in the Balkans. Yugoslav people outside Yugoslavia revolt against their neighboring countries. The Austrian Empire in response invades northern Yugoslavia. Russia occupies eastern and southern Ukraine. Turkey invades Palestine and occupies Egypt. The Roman Empire makes a surprise attack in Tunisia and takes it again. The Roman Empire arrives in Egypt and advances to El Alamein and pushing further to Cairo. The city gets surrounded and occupied. The Roman forces cross the Suez Canal destroying the Turkish army and occupying Palestine. If you want this series to continue, tell me in the comments what would you change, always following the rules that you can find in the description. 
I don't count every comment, so if you want to make sure that your change will be applied in the next video, then join the Discord server, because there I count every comment. Thanks.